Mm, let's see here. What am I doing to do? What? what, what, what? Who let that chicken in here? Someone is going to have to answer to that. Greetings, the world of the internet. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and welcome to Squeal Talk at the Home Movies. It is time for the much-anticipated next Disney princess movie taking place in the ancient Hawaiian Islands. She's got a boat, a chicken, and a mission to save the world. But let's see if the movie was good. This is Moana. The characters. Meet our new naughty princess, Moana an island girl of a small fishing village. She's likable, she's fun, and she doesn't take flack from Maui laying down. And she also has a great singing voice. Maui is played by The Rock Johnson, who has proven at this point that he can do just about anything. Maui is a demigod from Hawaiian folklore, and the movie is kind enough to share some of his tales. Maui is just what you'd expect, quite arrogant for a demigod and focused on what he wants, but ultimately a good person when it counts. And he's going to do the right thing if Moana has to drag him there. Maui tries his best to scare Moana home or trick her, but Moana faces her fears and won't let someone twice her size get the better of her. The Plot Maui stole a goddess heart in order to give humans the power of life. Unfortunately, this backfires as it winds up cursing the world instead. And now with her island in peril, Moana must go on a journey to locate Maui and make him put it back. This is a fun adventure. Pirates, monsters, demons, goddesses, everything you'd expect from a grand odyssey. All with that Disney flair we've come to love. A good chunk of the movie takes place on Moana's small ship, but even that feels like an adventure. She continues to encounter enemies much bigger than her tiny ship. But even then, she faces the odds head on. Design. The Hawaiian culture looks amazing. Her island is simply beautiful and full of life. No wonder she'd try to save it. And the ocean is rich and blue. Even watching her sail is amazing. The challenges she faces are creative. There's a lava monster and coconut pirates. Yeah, I wouldn't be intimidated by coconut pirates either, but their ship and their designs are fun to watch and give way to some exciting challenges for Moana and crew. Overall, need I say more, this movie is simply amazing. The character chemistry is good and they're enjoyable with a grand adventure full of Disney magic. You shall definitely find time to see Moana in theaters this season. And now, for a moment with previews. Oh, not this again. I don't want to see another one of these. Lost Smurf Village. It's time to take a road trip. I'll be like, ah, ah, ah. Be all Gargamel's animated? You, you, you mean to tell me that there is no more annoying human actors trying to interact with cruddy CGI? No more of this Smurf going to New York? Possibly something far more loyal to the source material? Well, screw all my earlier hesitations, let's see this movie! Screw the mysterious air it had before, let's show everything. Let's show the bees, let's show Belle, let's show the talking inanimate objects, let's show Gaston, and let's show most of the story. Of all the Pixar movies, why is this one one of the only ones that continues to get sequels? Plus. It's a sequel to Pixar's worst flop. I am the great Matthew Squeak, and this is Squeal Talk at the Movies. I thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe to me. Make sure you find time to see Moana. And also you may donate anything you wish to donate to here on Patreon.